Hey y'all, it's Krista. So um, my last video, I was using the PBO pouring medium and I studied it, wrote down how I layered my cup and now I'm going to do it with mix. So um, this is same canvas, 20 by 20 and I've got same cup and I'm gonna layer it the exact same way so that you can see that uh, mix is better than the PBOs. So uh, the colors that I'm using, again, are the Opaque series, the Opaque Cobalt Blue Hue, and then I've got a Metallic series with the Iridescent Copper, and then the Dyna series, I have the iridescent orange yellow, the iridescent blue, red blue, and the iridescent violet blue. And then instead of using the PBO Precious Gold, I'm gonna use the DecoArt Americana Metallics in the 24K. And again, I'm using the Amsterdam uh, Titanium White. So let's get this cup started. It says I started with cobalt blue, so we'll put that in first. And then I did gold. So we'll put that in. And then it says I used white, obviously, because what am I gonna do? I'm gonna lock it in. And then I used the orange yellow. Then the red blue. And then the violet blue. And then it says I put gold again. With white. So I'm locking it in again. And then I use the copper. And I'm gonna lock that one in too. You know, I don't know if I need to lock them in, but I know the 24K, you definitely have to. And then I'm gonna use the orange yellow. And the red blue. And then the blue violet, or violet blue. And then I'm going to put white. And then the cobalt blue. And gold and then white again and then I'll use copper but I'm not going to lock it in that this time I'm gonna put the orange yellow on top of that. Now in comparison to what I did before, I only, these are only seven ounce little cups. I put about five ounces of mix inside of them and I only use like three fourths of an ounce of paint. So, this painting has already saved me money.
because I'm not having to use all of that precious paint. All right, I'm gonna set these cups aside. I don't have hardly anything left in them, but you know, I always save them because um, I put them in little cups and I use them for later. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna water down my gold this time instead of using the white. I purposely didn't make a whole bunch of white because I want to make my puddle gold. So just thin this down a little bit because mix is like super thick and creamy. And if I thin this down, it gives me those nice little pearly cells that come out. So I'm going to put the rest of my gold cup down in the center. I'm going to set it aside so I can soak this cup. Okay. And set that up there. Then I'm going to torch it. Okay, this is what happens when you mix it. All the bubbles start rising up. So I'm adding air into the paint. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside because I don't need that anymore. So this is the redemption piece. This is uh, a pour of mix instead of PBO. All right, let's go. I already have beautiful crisp lines, mm. amazing transparency. You know, actually one of my viewers told me to do this because she thought the colors were so amazing. She was like, you need to do this with mix. So I'm doing it with mix. Okay. Wipe my finger off here. Now I'm gonna fix that center with my sticky stick. But as you can see, in comparison to my last video, I'm already getting little cells in here. The nice crisp lines, even though I didn't put any defining colors um, next to the other color. Like me using the yellow orange or the orange yellow next to the red blue they're just combining so nice together and making these amazing little lines so um the other one was just a hot mess it was like a big cloud of mess okay so i'm just gonna fix this a little bit and what am I gonna use as my flow extender? What can I use? Um, let's see what I got left up here. We'll just start using colors up. Since this color is already down in this corner, we'll use this one down here. Emptying cups is one of the things I love because it, they're easier to soak while they're wet. And I've got blue up here, so why not put blue up here? Let's use the paint up. Okay. And since I have orange over here, I'll use the well, there isn't much in there. There's none in there. Um, all right, we'll use the copper then. Put copper up here. I think I'm gonna actually use everything that I made. OK. 
Okay, that one's empty. And I have the violet blue left, so we'll put it down here. You can use anything as a flow extender. Sometimes I save my drips and use them as a flow extender. Sometimes uh, I leave my drips so that I can use them to make jewelry. You know, everyone has their little vices that they do. Um, all right, I'm gonna use my omelet turner. We'll scooch this up and spread this out. And then we will tilt this out. So my husband is watching the Big Lebowski right now. And what's funny about that is that my sister calls her cat the dude. And trust me, meeting the dude for the first time is pretty much like meeting the Big Lebowski. <laughs> he has a little bit of an attitude, but he is a super friendly little cat and he is certainly silly. When we went to go visit her in Colorado Springs, we woke up to the dude looking at us with only, all you could see was the tip of his nose and his eyes and he was giving us the eyes for sure. He's a silly cat. The dude. Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna give it a torch. Look at these cells I'm getting, y'all. maybe because I use 24k instead of the precious gold but um, that was my choice the uh, the point I'm trying to get across is that um, I have defined lines and it doesn't look like a pool of mess this time okay so let's give this baby a spin we're just gonna spin it around and see what it wants to do. Wait until I bring you down on this canvas, y'all. Big, big difference. I have this strange feeling I'm gonna have people from PBO contacting me and being like, uh, are you dissing my stuff? Well, not really, but I mean, yes, because it just does not perform the same. You know, someone said, I have created the Rolls Royce of pouring mediums and you know, why would I use anything else? And you know what? It's because I, I'll give anything a chance. I'm, I'm not biased to mix. I just know what I like. Just like all of you know what you like. All right, so we're gonna bring, I mean, look at this painting. So far, we're on a different level of pouring right here. The defined lines from the very beginning of the pour. I mean, I can't, I can't love everything, right? 
So, okay, I'll bring it back. And we will take it off this corner. You're not gonna believe it when I bring you down, y'all. Using these colors, now, don't get me wrong, their paints, amazing. Their pouring medium, not so much. You know, Julie E. from um, Abstract Art, or pouring, fluid pouring, or something like that, I, she changed her name and now I always forget what it is. Um, she was like, not everybody should be cashing in on this market of pouring mediums. Well, you know what? She's right. Not everybody should be doing that because if you don't pour art, you don't know what to look for. You don't know what a consistency should be for your pouring medium and, you know, things like that. Which, you know, actually Mix was, is thick because of Sarah Mack. She tested it for us for months and months before we released it. And she said, you know what? I wish this was thicker. So we said, you know what? We can totally do that. So what did we do? We made it thicker. It was an easy adjustment to make it thick for her. And I'd rather, I'd rather that be a thing than it being too thin like that PBO stuff. Okay. Catch this over here, because I know that this corner needs to get done, and I hope I got it, because I really want to take my gloves off. All right, let me take these off, and I'm going to bring you down for the close-up. Look at this, just right here in this corner. Look at the transparency in there. It is amazing. Then I'll bring you up here. Just look at that. It doesn't stop. Those Dinas are really nice and Mix loves them. Look at that. This is gonna be so pretty when it's dry, y'all. Then you come over here. I just took you right up the side. Look at that. Wow. And look at that cobalt blue, how absolutely stunning it is. And look, I'm getting cells in it. Ooh. And look at these stripey cells. This painting, look at these cells popping up, y'all. I got zero cells when I use the PBO pouring medium. I got measles, but no cells. Look how bright and crisp these colors are. This is like sunshine on a canvas. Look right here. Look at that funky cell. All right, now I'm bringing it over to this corner. I, all right, look at that. Awesome. All these cells popping up. The lacing I got in here and the white and gold. Look right here. You know, this is why I love mix. Okay, you tell me, which I already know what you're gonna tell me, it's way better. Um, I will put my email down in the description box 
you need to get you some mix, uh, send me an email. I'm happy to help you out. Um, hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. All right. Bye, y'all.